Hello everybody and welcome to Operation Deep Freeze. Before we start this video and I show you the battle pass, I just want to quickly thank the people over at Ubisoft for providing me with this battle pass. I really do appreciate it. However, that isn't going to affect my judgment on any of the skins in the battle pass. It's still going to be my pure reaction and opinion. And as well as this, we're almost at 100k subs. So who knows, if we hit that number, maybe I'll give away a few battle passes. So if you're not subbed already, hit that button and let's crack on with this. So for tier one, we have a skin for Tuberau. You know, this is sort of just like the basic tier one skin which most operators get at the beginning of a battle pass does look pretty decent you probably see people running this alongside the default so nothing too special there um i'm gonna move up the way and sort of make my way around here because it is a little weird design of a battle pass so we have a bravo pack we have another uniform for tuberau there is a little lore description here not going to go into the lore uh, in this video, as you all know, when I do battle pass videos, I have an entire video dedicated to the lore itself. So we will do that. However, in this one, we're just looking at the battle pass. That's actually a really nice uniform for Tuberau. I, I like that quite a bit, not going to lie. Quite interesting that there's two skins that close to each other. Uh, we have a renown, sorry, a battle pass booster. A headgear for Tuberau, which matches that bundle. Again, pretty cool one. Let's move down. We have a universal weapon skin. Uh, pretty basic. I won't lie, I'm not massively into that i can't see myself or anyone running it but you know I'll, I'll take a universal skin uh we have another bravo pack we have more renown boosters we have a weapon skin for the mpx now of course uh this is cause tuberau has the mpx so that's pretty fun uh so let's move along uniform for mira i, I feel like mira's been getting quite decent when it comes to you know battle pass skins i kind of like it i mean it's just a basic recolor but you know i kind of like the color scheme with it uh, let's move along here and then we'll make our way down. So we have some R6 credits. We have Alpha Pack, Bravo Pack. Uh, let me move up a little bit. We have a weapon skin for Zero's SC3000K. This is SI2024. So there we go. We have our first look at what the design for SI2024 is going to be. I really like how this one looks. Uh, orange seems to be a massive factor in this one this year. Or maybe actually that's just for Zero. But yeah, really nice de design. I always, you know, like... Um, the SI stuff. I'm always a big fan of that. <laughs> Here we go. We got uh, Sam with some SI sunglasses on. That's kind of fun. I kind of wish he had his echelon goggles on. Like, you know, maybe an SI design on, like, the goggles. I think that'd be quite cool. But I'll take that headgear. I also like how it says denier. Like, he doesn't accept it. Uh, here is the uniform as well. Again, pretty cool. Let me zoom out a little bit. I mean, you are bright white, so <laughs> maybe run this uniform when you play Chalet and, you know, blend in with the snow. It's quite a cool little uniform. I do like Skins for Zero. He is one of my favorite operators, so I will take that. Um, Shrine of the Wing, you know, a universal background. This is very niche, but if anyone lives in Scotland, this looks exactly like Glasgow University. <laughs> you know, too niche, too niche. Maybe someone in the watching this video will understand what I'm talking about. You know, the arches. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe that's too niche. But moving down, we have a headgear for Mira. Pretty decent. Again, just a simple recolor. I probably won't run it, but it's not the worst. Uh, we have a Bravo pack, this charm, which looks like something that someone sitting at the side of the road would sell for, you know, $5, and it'd probably give you a curse when you take it home to your family. Uh, we have a player card for Warden in some SI2024 drip. Does look pretty cool. I like how they've made it, like, his glasses are doing, like, mid-transformation. That's a pretty cool one. The quality, honestly, looks better than before. Have they, have they finally upped the quality of Battle Pass cards? Again, it doesn't look as good as other cards, but... It doesn't look as bad as it did before. Uh, Alpha pack, we have a Bravo pack. Here is the uniform for that Warden set. Actually matches the headgear I've got on right now. So yeah, that is the SI2024. And it does seem to confirm that orange is a big part of this color scheme for SI2024. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. So that's the uniform. Uh, Renown booster, weapon skin for the MPX. <laughs> that's another MPX weapon skin in this battle pass. SI2024 this time. Uh, let's see, and here is the headgear for Warden. Uh, pretty basic, pretty basic, but I do think it is quite nice. I do like the white sleek design. It does match the little blue gradient uh, quite well. I like it. Right, let's continue our adventure this way. Here we have a headgear for Fuse. That's pretty nice. I won't lie. Uh, is this the Atlantis sort of theme again by the look of it? I mean, I, I think that's pretty cool. I can't tell if this is a recolor. This might be a recolor. That being said, though, it's a pretty cool recolor if it is one. Uh, we have an Alpha Snack. A battle pass booster. We actually have some stuff for Clash here. Last time we seen her was the last Wolf Guard battle pass, but this isn't a Wolf Guard skin for her. Oh, actually, this is a Wolf Guard skin for her. Really, Ubisoft? This is your second Wolf Guard battle pass, and you gave a skin to Clash again. 
when other wolf guard operators don't have skins now that is you know i'm not a massive fan of that like yeah it's pretty cool i, I actually quite like it it looks like we're doing like a, a wolf guard biohazard sort of you know thing i i actually think that's really cool and i can't wait to see what's more in this battle pass you know as a lore guy myself it's really cool to see a variation on the wolf guard skins however you know there's wolf guard operators without wolf guard skins so the fact that clash of all people now has two wolf guard skins you know i'm not, not the biggest fan of that uh bravo pack we have renown uh sorry r6 credits this is a really nice background very basic but it gives black ice glacier just ice vibes in general you know for a, i actually think that deserves to be a legendary I, I know it's not as flashy as other backgrounds but that is simplistic that is clean but you know, that's just nice i think that's great here we have a little charm of a little kraken by the looks of it holding the boat that's really cool i am a fan of you know sea based stuff I guess I did watch a lot of Pirates of the Caribbean growing up, so that makes sense. Uh, we've got Bravo Packs. We'll move up this way because we did miss this uh, Fuse uniform, which matches that other headgear I just showed off. I I'm, a I'm a fan of the color brown. You know, it this is sort of like Kraken themed again as well. I think the Kraken's quite cool. You know, we have we have Fuse dressed up as rum right now. Love a bit of Kraken rum. Uh, Bravo Packs. Let's move over this way. More Battle Pass boosters. Ooh, the SI2024 Universal Background. That is clean. I will be using that on a bunch of operators. I like that a lot. That is brilliant. Uh, let's move this way. We have Goyo has an SI2024 set as well. I mean, Goyo is an integral part of Pro League these days. He is massive in Pro League, you know. A very vital operator, so I think it's cool that he does get an SI set. Uh, I'm going to try and not miss stuff here. This, the, the way the Battle Pass is laid out, uh, it's quite easy to miss stuff. Here is another universal weapon skin. I, I think that one's really nice. It's very basic, but it's nice. Like a little compass. Uh, sorry, let's see. I'm trying to not miss stuff. Again, I'm I'm still not a fan of this UI. I still prefer the old battle pass system where it was just pages, like any other game. Uh, here's a weapon skin for Zofia's AR. Another basic weapon skin, but honestly, I dig it. I think that's very clean. Really nice. It sort of just looks like a variant of what a default weapon skin would look like. Yeah, really nice weapon skin. Honestly, the basic stuff they're doing quite well with in this battle pass, I would say. Uh, here is the Goyo headgear. Uh, it doesn't look like it wants to load for me. Let me try again. There we go. Putting that 4090 GPU to use. Uh, so here's the Invitational headgear for Goyo. Pretty basic, but pretty cool. I do like the Invitational stuff. Here is the uniform for Zofia. Again, that same sort of color scheme. But, you know, brown, I don't know. I think I'm just biased to the color brown. I think it just is a very nice color. Uh, so there's that Zofia uniform. Quite nice. We also have a headgear as well. Very basic headgear. Looks like any other Zofia headgear. I'd say that one's a bit of a missed opportunity. Uh, Bravo pack, alpha pack. Uh, let's move up this way just because I'm trying to not miss uh, anything. We'll move over to this one in a sec. Uh, we have a drone skin. Not going to lie, this looks like one of the drone skins we got last season. This seems to be like a Kraken theme again. You know, it's a, it looks cool, but I swear we got one that looked just like that last season. This is cool. This is a headgear for Buck. Sort of looks like Cthulhu, I believe that creature is called. I know it's maybe just like in this Kraken theme, but man, that is really cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I do, I do like that quite a bit. Um, let's move up. We got some Renown Vistors, a Thatcher uniform. I, I, don't, I, I won't lie, I personally don't like a lot of stuff they do with Thatcher. I think they can make a lot nicer skins, but you know, brown is in. I, I like the color scheme. I'll, I'll take it. Uh, it's not the worst. Here's the headgear as well. I kind of wish it wasn't orange. It looks like it's a little bit bugged here for me when I try and... Kind of wish the eyes weren't orange. That sort of ruins the headgear for me. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, there seems to be some little performance issues with this battle pass. Like, sometimes I can't spin a skin. Uh, but here's the weapon skin for the L85A2. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, I, I know there is a really nice skin for Twitch in this battle pass. It might, I might put it as a thumbnail because I think it is really cool. And we'll get to that in a second. Uh, here's the player card for Buck. Pretty cool. Uh, we have a Bravo pack, a weapon skin for Buck C8. That's nice. That is really nice. I, I like that one. That's a good. That's a that's a good weapon skin. Nice. Uh, I like that one quite a bit. Uh, here's the uniform. I, did I show this off? I don't think I did. You know, for them being basic recolors, you know, I, I'll take them. They're not the worst. Here is just a bog standard SI2024 charm. Pretty cool. Really nice to have uh, have that to the collection. Uh, so we went down this way. We've already seen that bit. So we'll move along this way. 
just trying to not miss stuff. We'll, we'll go up this way. So we have this background, which looks like, you know, uh, bacteria. There's, a, there's quite a theme of bacteria in this battle pass when it comes to the lore stuff. Uh, this seems to be like a little petri dish, I believe. Yeah, more biohazard stuff and wolf guard. Uh, well, I really need to get into the lore descriptions of this because it seems like there's a lot of biohazard stuff and wolf guard related. I wonder how that's going to play out uh, for the next season because we do know on layer um, that Deimos is, you know, dealing with biochemical weapons and stuff like that. So anyway, here's the attachment skin. Uh, Universal. I, I do like it. That is really nice. Quite a fan of that. They are. This is a pretty good battle pass. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we have a little charm. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Does that spin? Oh, no, I thought if you, like, gave it momentum, it would spin. That would have been cool. Uh, so, Renown Booster, Bravo Pack. A... Oh, that's a nice background. I love that. That gives me, like, Uncharted vibes. Oh, that's sick. I like that a lot. Really cool. Really cool. Right. Uh, another weapon skin. That one's cool. That's the attachment skins matching one we just saw a second ago. Again, I'm having this little bug where I can't rotate it. So, sorry if I'm clicking on it a few times. Um, let's try one more time, I guess. Or I might not... Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm able to rotate this. I don't know what bug I've got right now. But you can see uh, decently what the weapon skin looks like. It is pretty cool. And here's a matching drone as well with the little ship on it. Yeah, I like that. that that's good. That, that's a nice set. I, I'm happy with that one. Uh, right, I don't think I missed anything this way. Sorry, again, this is quite confusing. You menus to navigate, you know what I mean? Uh, so we'll go this way. We have a 3D weapon skin for Legion's T5 SMG. Of course, you can use this on Oryx as well. Pretty nice. This is one of my favorite guns in the game. So honestly, we'll probably rock this. Uh, we have a Bravo pack. This Hegyr for Legion. Um, it looks like a shark, I think. I mean, Tuberau is Portuguese for shark. So that would make sense that we have a shark themed headgear for... I uh, Well, not Tuberau, but... Uh, it sort of gives me like Power Ranger vibes. I don't know if I like it that much. I'm not going to lie. I think it just looks a bit flashy for flashy sake. Uh, here's a weapon skin for a shotgun. Of course, that's actually usable nowadays after the shotgun changes. Uh, here's a uniform to match that. Yeah, if you're wearing this as a full set, you're going to look like a Power Ranger, bro. All right, I'm just saying it. Right, guys, you're all thinking it. Whole, he's got a dumpy. I'm just saying. Legion, that boy's thick. Oh, actually says this was made by Nighthaven. They made this? This is actually a suit in the lore? I mean, it is one of Nighthaven's exoskeletons, judging by the back. Bro has ass, bro. Right. Uh, I, I swear I have a girlfriend, guys. Uh, attachment skin for the T5 SMG. Uh, Bravo pack. Alpha pack. Bravo pack. A charm to sort of match that by the looks of it. <gasps> oh, we have a little bit by Deimos here. Oh, I cannot wait to get into this lore video. I'm sure you guys cannot wait for it as well. Uh, here's the player card for Legion. So that's what the full suit looks like. Can't believe Nighthaven would actually develop it. Right, here is the bundle I'm so excited for. Bravo pack, F2, 3D weapons again. Literally look at that. There's a bit broken off the F2. So we have this Wolfguard, but like biochemical weapon skin for the F2. Looks absolutely beautiful. This is a great weapon skin. I mean, look at that. That's sick, right? And I've seen this skin. I saw this skin on Twitter before I looked at this battle pass. So I did spoil it for myself a little bit. But this is the headgear. So it's a Wolfguard hazmat headgear for Twitch, okay? That's so cool. Uh, Bravo pack, alpha pack, blah, 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 blah. Weapon skin for the 417. Best gun on Twitch, by the way. 417's brilliant. Uh, we have this uniform. You know, when, actually, when she isn't using the matching headgear, it does look quite skinny around her neck. But look at this uniform. That is so clean. Like, matching this with the headgear is going to be so nice. So that, that is the, the, the legendary uniform. And there's the player card. That is a really nice uh, bundle for Twitch. There's an attachment skin as well. You can't really see on this weapon. Uh, but yeah. That is um, that is a Twitch bundle. I, I definitely think that Twitch bundle, honestly, that makes the battle pass for me. Uh, I know you can zoom out now. Oh, yeah. oh, I could have went through this like the whole time. Yeah, that's not as fun though. Um, but as far as I'm aware, that is the whole the whole battle pass. I might, I might be wrong. I might have missed something. Don't think I did. But it does seem like that is the entire battle pass. So yeah, highlight for me is definitely that Twitch skin. Uh, but yeah, 100% recommend picking up this battle pass if you do like it. You know, of course, you don't have to pick it up. But I recommend doing it. I think this is probably one of the better battle passes we've had in a long time. And um, yeah, be sure to let me your thoughts in the comment section below about this new battle pass. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe for more. Catch you later. Peace.